Hi, I'm Martin Lindsay from the Studying Learning Centre at RMIT University. This is a short movie on logarithms. A logarithm is an index, but let's look at an index first. Here's the number 8. 8 is the same as 2 to the power of 3. Three things here. 8 is the number, 2 is the base, and 3 is the index. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. A logarithm is an index, but let's look at an index first. Here's the number 8. 8 is the same as 2 to the power of 3. We have three things here. 8 is the number, 2 is the base, and 3 is the index. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So here it is again, 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. Now this can be written as log of 8 to the base 2 equals 3. Notice the 3 in red, the index 3 and the logarithm 3. Also note the base of 2, both 2 to the 3 and log of 8 to the base 2. In other words, we can write the equivalence here. a to the power of x is equal to n is the same as log of n to the base a is x. Notice the index in red and the logarithm in red. Now look at some examples. 5 to the power of 3 is 125, which is the same as log of 125 to the base 5 is 3. Notice in each case as I go through these that the index and the logarithm are shown in red. Here's another one, 3 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 9, log of 1 over 9 to the base 3 is negative 2. And finally 25 to the power of 1 half is 5, it's the same as log of 5 to the base 25 is equal to the half. Study these carefully before moving on to the next slide. Now let's work out log of 64 to the base 4. We'll write the equivalent statement first, and beneath that log of 64 to the base 4 which equals x is the same as 4 to the power of x is 64. In other words, what we're trying to do here is, is working out what the x value is, the power of 4. So 4 cubed gives us 64. 4 times 4 times 4. In other words, x is equal to 3. Therefore, log of 64 to the base 4 is equal to 3. Here's another problem, but this time we're solving log of x to the base 2 equals 5. In the previous slide, we were working out what the logarithm was. Here we're working out what the number is, which is x in this case. First of all, let's write the equivalent statement. And then plugging our log of x to the base 2 equals 5 into that equivalent statement gives us 2 to the power of 5 is equal to x. In other words, we're working out what 2 to the power of 5 is, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 32. In other words, x is equal to 32. Now here are two important logarithm rules. The first rule is a to the power of 0 is equal to 1, which is the same as log of 1 to the base a is equal to 0. In other words, for any base, the log of 1 is 0. Second rule is a to the power of 1 is equal to a, or the log of a to the same base, a, is equal to 1. In other words, the log of any number with itself as base is equal to 1. There are three laws of logarithms that you must know. Here's the first one. The log of two numbers multiplied together, m, n, is equal to the log of m plus the log of n. For instance, here's the log of 15, and 15 is 5 times 3. So the log of 5 times 3 is equal to the log of 5 plus the log of 3. Here's the second law. The log of a quotient, in other words, m divided by n, 
is equal to log of m minus log of n. So for instance, if we have the log of 12 over 5, that is the same as log of 12 subtract the log of 5. And finally, the log of a number to a power, in this case log of m to the power of p, is the same as p log of m. Notice how the index here is now placed in front of the log. So for instance, the log of 9 to the power of 2 is the same as 2 log of 9. But notice 9 is the same as 3 squared. So we can go one step further and write 2 log 3 squared. Again, using the law 3 squared, we can place the 2 in front. So it now becomes 2 times 2 log of 3, which is 4 log of 3. Now try some questions for yourselves. The answers to these problems are on the next slide. Thanks for watching this short movie.